This is the Lion King knockoff Lego set for the Pirates of the Caribbean, the Black Pearl. Why is the rum gone? Why is the rum always gone? <laughs> Two quick things. What the heck is that? This is the uh, the Lion King Lego tool. It's a giraffe. Okay. Second thing. Look at these specialized boat pieces for the Black Pearl. And I've seen these for other pirate ships, right? Why can't Lego for a $700 set like the Imperial Star Destroyer why can't they make a, a angled piece for the top of that so there's not a huge gap in the middle of the ship that makes it look terrible for $700? Outrageous. If this were Lego, this is in the instructions, the end of the first bag. So you can see we've got the basic hull of the ship and all the stuff holding it together and a couple of cannons on there and a barrel full of swords and fish. On to bag two. That's the end of bag two. I'm starting to believe that these are actually numbered. Um, there's just multiples of each number because instead of like Lego does, they put them all in one big numbered bag. Um, it looks like Lion King puts them all separately, but then you just open all the bags number that. Which I didn't know at the beginning because the other knockoffs I've done don't have any numbers. Of course those are all different companies so um, but this is the end of bag two you can see the pearl is starting to take on some shape here uh, we got captain jack sparrow we got davy jones and i think that's bootstrap bill we got some cannons we got some swords and barrels we got the stairs in the back and the door to the quarters Get some flaps. I'm missing a flap. I hope that's in a bag somewhere. I'm sure I have replacements, but 
But yeah, that's it. That's all I'm going to do for tonight. And then I will continue working on this tomorrow night. That's pretty cool so far. It's time to build some pirates. Oh, yeah. So that is bag three. Uh, don't mind the extra Jack Sparrow. He's just hanging out. We've got uh, we've got Will, and that little sword hanger is really cool. It's not really a sheath; it's just kind of a hanger. But they ought to put that on more figures. Like I would like that on Jack Sparrow. I need to find some more of those and just add them to a bunch of characters because that's really cool. And then uh, you can see we're starting to build the cabin here. We got some cool. Little details in there, the map and the arbalesque and the, the empty rum bottle. And then this part on the back is on hinges, so this flips up and down. So that's pretty cool. I think it would be pretty cool to uh, light this cabin from the inside at some point with like a little flickering orange and yellow LED. So it looks like there's some candles or something going on in there. Alright, on to bag four. So that is the end of bag four. So as you can see, we have got quite a bit of the walls of the captain's cabin here done. Both of these walls on the side swing out. So you still have access there. And again, that wall in the back swings down. Pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I'm going to say about the instructions, sometimes... This looks very brown in real life, and then it's very hard to tell the difference between the dark brown There's the light brown ones and the so this is light brown And that's dark brown I mean how are you, how are you supposed to tell? The only reason I know is because I had two light brown pieces left and only one dark brown, so obviously that made sense, but yeah, that's a little hard to tell. And it's hard to tell sometimes between the gray and the brown. Other than that, everything's fitting together really well. I haven't really noticed any weird inconsistencies with the bricks. Uh, they are very tight, very tight. So a little bit tighter uh, the clutch together than, than Legos. And uh, putting the putting the hinge pieces together and it really hurt my thumbs. On to bag five. Oh, gotta move back. 
back here. It's got it's gotten really tall. <laughs> All right, that is the end of bag five. So as you can see, we've gotten the uh, the captain's cabin assembly done. We've got the the steering wheel. We've got one of the sails up. The whole assembly here, and this whole thing just sits on here, so you can pick this right up and still get inside the cabin there. And then we've gotten the, the railings done and stuff. Um, I just want to take a second before I get to the end of this and completely forget I had wanted to talk about this. So I want to talk about the minifigures that come with this set. So there's uh, Bootstrap Bill, Mr. Gibbs, Josh Me Gibbs. Uh, we've got Will Turner. Oh, we've got um, the shark looking dude from Davy Jones crew. Davy Jones himself. Cotton Jack Sparrow. Okay, so uh, what I've noticed, this is a Lion King set. Uh, what I've noticed is that these minifigures are noticeably tighter than the Bella figures. So for knockoff figures, like for instance, these legs, um, these come all disassembled, whereas the Bella come together. These legs are super tight, just like a new Lego set. And ditto with the hands. Um, it's really hard to get them in and back out. The arms are super tight in there. Now, of course, all of this will loosen up over time if you're playing with it. But probably not too much if you're just displaying it like I'm going to do. But I just wanted to make a mention of that because these are noticeably better. Not that the Bella are bad. I mean, they look okay. And, and everything works okay, but these are just noticeably better than the Bella ones. Um, I will say that Mr. Gibbs, um, his, uh, what do you call it? His torso came in the bag with the rest of this guy. And I noticed putting them together, I'm like, wait a minute, why does Gibbs have coral and stuff growing? That doesn't make any sense. And then I looked, I'm like, oh yeah, that's the, those just came in the wrong bags. So I just had to switch those, but... They're pretty cool. I mean, all these minifigures are pretty cool. All that little... Ooh, focus that. I like little shark guy. He's cool. Um, I did steal his sword belt for Captain Sparrow. Now, I, I'm thinking they didn't give Captain Sparrow a sword belt because it doesn't fit under his hair piece there. You can see where the hair piece kind of pushes it down out of the way. But it still works. And I still really like that look, so... Yeah, I'm keeping that with uh, with Jack. And then uh, Mr. Gibbs has a sword belt. I just couldn't find it at the time, so we'll put that on him later. But that's it. Yeah, I just want to mention before I forgot at the end, when I'm going over it, uh, just about the minifig quality. So now we'll move on to bag uh, blah, 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 six. We're on bag six. All right, so you missed a bit of this in the time warp because I didn't realize that my camera battery died. So we've got the main mast up here. And this thing connects. There's actually a bunch of different pieces. So we've got this main part that plugs in down here. Is a shaft that goes up. And then it's got another shaft built on top of it. They're connected by this two by, I think, gosh, that's a long one. I don't know, two by 14, I think. Um, and then you have a block here with these connected. And then these, you build the same structure that you built here. And then this goes on the, the bottom of this top part of the mast. And you got some clips on the side here. And that's what really stabilizes. This thing is really unstable until you clip in these ship pieces. So these would be the rope webs on a real ship. But they clip into those side pieces we built way early on. Um, and that makes the whole thing way, way steadier. Um, I think if you really gave it a good whack, the whole thing would come over. But as far as like sitting there, nothing's just going to, you know, jostle it and knock it right over. Um, and then we started building up the front one when I realized the camera wasn't on. Now back to our regularly scheduled time lapse.
is the Lion King, the Black Pearl, 808 pieces. It's at 180045. I can't even fit the whole thing. I can't get far enough away from my table to get it all in frame. It's really tall. So we'll start up here. You've got the cool pirate flag on the top. Got some sails. Now these are a little wrinkled from coming from China. So I might need to, I don't even know if you can iron this material, but I might need to find a way to straighten it out so it looks like they're billowing instead of folding in on themselves. This is pretty cool. It's actually tied with string on these two. And then you've got the little figure on the front here. The little angel wings, that's pretty cool. These little things flap up, you got cannons. Mr. Gibbs, bring me the horizon. This whole thing comes off so you can get into the captain's cabin still. These things open up so you can see the inside of the cabin without taking that off. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, these average around 30 bucks from a lot of the, I uh, need have extra, you only need the one knife from here and then you've got some modern guns and grenades and whatever heck this hand thing is supposed to be. That's extra. But this, uh, this average is about 30 bucks from a lot of the the shops that deal in these Chinese knockoffs, um, and then you're dealing with shipping from wherever it is. But it's a pretty big set, I believe. And I may be wrong. I have to look up to see how big the uh, the Mandalorian Razor Crest is, but I believe this might be the most pieces I've built since I got back into Lego here. This is pretty cool. I think you could light these up with some LEDs and that would look really cool, as well as some LED light coming through the uh, the captain's cabin there. This does, whoopsie, let me break it. Oh. This does fold down in the back, um, but you really have to open one of the sides or the top and push it down from inside. Oh, maybe it doesn't come down anymore the, now that the, uh, Oh, I guess that's just for the angle. It's, it's blocked now by the pieces above it. So you can still open the sides and then you can take the top off, but you can't, this doesn't come out anymore. I guess it's just on there so that it has that backwards angle. But that's, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Pick it up a little bit. Let me break some stuff off. I can hear some stuff getting knocked around in the front there. Uh, I think I just knocked over my, uh, pod racer and then this side opens as well I really want to be playing the Pirates of the Caribbean theme but I know Disney would uh, shut me down immediately for that so so you can tilt it just a little bit so you can kind of get a, an idea here that is really, really super cool. I've always wanted to have some version of the Black Pearl and why not Lego so you can kind of build it up yourself. I really like that. That's really cool. All right, so that's our, uh, our biggest build and our biggest knockoff so far. Like I said, uh, this cost me 30 bucks where I ordered it from. Um, I'll see if I can put a link in the description below. It's uh, Creep Hybrid. And that is the Black Pearl. Alright guys, thanks for joining me here on 7 Star Off Topic. We'll see you next time.